This is Mavic 2 Zoom. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. You don't need a new drone. You don't need a Mavic 2 Zoom to get this effect. I'm going to show you how to do the same effect you've seen in all the commercials right in DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you how. First of all, you want a clip of a drone flying backwards or forwards, and you want to make sure that you have a subject in the foreground as well as something in the background. Now, that's what's necessary to create this effect. Now, there's two ways in order to create this effect and resolve. I'm going to show you the first way um, where we're going to make a copy of this clip. We're going to put the copy on the track above. We're going to align up the clip so that the second clip the last frame of the first clip lines up with the first frame of the second clip. And we're going to reduce the opacity of the second clip so that I can see both tracks in an overlay fashion. Now we're going to set a keyframe for both the zoom as well as the position. And what we're going to do is line up the object size and position of that object in the foreground, which are the mountains in this, this example, those, those uh, mountains right in the foreground, so that we line it up between both clips. So we're going to adjust this until we get it just just right. Next we're going to move to the beginning of the first clip and we're going to set a keyframe so that we return the zoom back to one as well as position back to zero. So basically the starting position. And now we can look at the effect by sliding the, the, the tracker back and forth. Now I'm going to do another example here um, with this second clip, um, this one is pretty straightforward. It's just of a picture of a drone flying backwards, but also elevating. And what we're going to have is the mountains in the background coming closer uh, to the foreground. So in this case, we're going to go in and select the clip, and we're going to go in and select dynamic zoom. Now we're going to move the box in the middle so that it's centered to the object in the foreground, so the green box. But we want this to actually um, invert. So we're going to swap the green and the red and select ease out so that we exaggerate the effect as it starts out. And so you can see that what we have here. Okay, so let's go to a, a final clip, which is just the opposite of this one. The drone is flying forward, so we want to push the background as far back as possible. So all we have to do is do the same thing with dynamic zoom, but just have the green box in the center and the red box outside. That's all you have to do. If you got any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.